Good evening. I'm Clarice Tinsley. Parents hope the power of prayer convinces school leaders to keep religious plaques on permanent display at two elementary schools. The question is whether the Christian plaques in Midlothian are unconstitutional. The district tried to head off a lawsuit by covering them with duct tape. Then someone uncovered them. And today, for the first time, the superintendent talked about what's next. Zahid Ara broke this story, and he joins us from Midlothian with the update. You know, Clarice, this has really blown up since our story first aired a couple days ago. So many people showed up at a morning rally today that the crowd of about 200 had to be moved to a stadium parking lot. Now it's all over etchings on this plaque that now tell a story of how important faith is in this community. This is a fight worth fighting, and this is a cause that's worth fighting for father. during a time of conflict. Midlothian is a Christian community. We're a, we're a family community. This crowd does what it always does. We've had two nights of prayer and one morning of prayer. This devotion is to keep religious plaques at Mountain Peak Elementary and Long Branch Elementary put there by a Lutheran church in 1997. All of our money has that on it. In God we trust and I see nothing wrong with it. Ken Thompson was on the school board at the time. The school attorney at that time looked at the plaque and agreed with it and so we approved to put it on there. But after a complaint last fall, the Freedom From Religion Foundation sent a demand letter to the school district to take the plaques down, saying they were unconstitutional. On Sunday, a school district attorney decided they should be covered up with duct tape. It's important that I stand up for my children and for my faith. A conversation in a dining room with Fox 4 sparked a Facebook page with more than 4,000 parents who created a community movement that's caught national attention. Well, I'm anxious to hear what the schools uh, reaction is. After someone took the duct tape off, the district called this news conference. The district has no intention of covering them again, and we have engaged and been talking to legal counsel, outside legal counsel. Under one God. A small answer to these prayers. All the parents in the community are, are going to continue to stand and continue to fight. Of strength Amen. in numbers. Amen. Now, parents are happy with the district's decision to seek other legal opinions in support of it. I'm told students at Midlothian High School actually walked around the hallways carrying their Bibles today. And at Heritage High School, students held lunchtime prayer groups. Clarice. That's the one side of it, Zahid. What's the reaction from the Freedom From Religion Foundation? You know, I did speak to a representative from the foundation. He tells me that they're going to wait and see if a lawyer will pick up this case. Now, their thought is that this is, quote, a loser of a case and that the plaques are obvious violations of separation of church and state, adding that, the law, that a lawyer will probably not pursue it. But if someone does, the foundation says they, too, will consider legal options. Clarice. Good work on breaking the stories ahead, and we'll continue the coverage. Thank you.